Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a second video. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, a couple of days ago, it was um, it was uh, reported reported um, on, on in the New Zealand media, the Australian media, that you know Marty Vatavai came out and you know on the social media he came out and um, confessed that he took. Um, I'll go through it. He took it. Says here, Marty Vatavai. Um, former era player uh, denies uh, the charges of um, methamphetamine for supply and importing drugs. He could be jailed for life or convicted or alleged. In 2019, he came out and said, I was charged with importation, possession, and supply of methamphetamine. All these charges are allegations, and I'll be fighting my innocent for these charges. I know there are a lot of questions, but I've been advised for my legal team, and that is all I can talk about, says. Manu Vatavai. So, you know, my thoughts on this, you know, I can't really comment too much on it, but what I've read there and uh, what I've heard lately now, I'm not sure why it's taken Manu this long to come out in the media and say that he's done this, but, you know, you know, Manu Vatavai is one of my uh, favourite players in the game, in the Warriors, in the NRL in general, over a long, long time. You know he stopped. He's been he's been stopped playing um, NRL for, but now he went over to the UK Super League and that didn't work out for him. And you know now at the moment he's um, apparently doing real estate. I believe it is. He's doing real estate at the moment. So he's he uh, yeah you know he's he was one of the great players, Manu Vatavai. He he had a few ups and downs in his career. You know you know that game against Parramatta a couple of years ago where you know it was a game where he dropped the ball a lot and you know he 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 after that recovered from that and you know he still managed to you know b become one of the um all-time try scorers for the Warriors he scored a lot of tries for us and you know I, I respected what he did for the for, for not only for what he did for the Warriors but also what he did to you know he he the Pacific Island players they really looked up to him they really looked up to Mario Vatavai you know, when he came to the club, he was, he was, you know, one of those big wingers that, you know, it was hard to stop Manu. And, you know, this this is really disappointing to hear. It's very gutting to hear this news. I mean, if if it's true, and you know, it, he's saying that he's fighting the allegations made against him in, in regards to these um, drugs that apparently he took. If these are, if these um, reports are true, and and he does get found guilty for, for taking these drugs. You know, what can you say? It's very disappointing to hear. It's very gutting. But at the moment, I can't say too much. All I can say is that what what is said on the reports, that Manu's going to fight those charges and, you know, good luck to him. If he, ha if he didn't take it, he didn't take it. But if he did, you know, he's guilty. But I'm not going to say whether he's guilty or not guilty at the end of the day. You know, at the moment, that's reports. That's what he's... um. That's what he's come out and said he's going to fight the charges. So best of luck to Manu. But you know, at the end of the day, if they have enough evidence, then you know, it's it's just you know you, you can't be taking drugs if that's the case. You can't be taking drugs, and you know it's it's not on. But if if it's if if he's saying what he's saying that it's that he's fighting the charges and he doesn't believe he's, he's done anything wrong, then you know, good luck to him and hope he gets off with the charge. But at the end of the day. I can't say too much about it, but that's what it's that's what's been reported. That's what he's come out and said at the end of the day. So yeah, I don't know. Let me go, let you guys um, know my thoughts on it. I wasn't going to do a video about it because you know I don't really want to, but you know I thought I'd come out and come out and say my thoughts on it on the channel. But at the end of the day, we shall see what happens with Manu and. It'll be very disappointing if, if he does get charged and you know if, if those reports are true that he did take those drugs back then but let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this you know news but you know this news that was reported it was reported like a couple of days ago um, I wasn't gonna do a video until you know I read the actual story properly and when digested the video that he did the other day on Instagram so I wasn't going to do that, that until 
you know, I digested all of it. So I decided to do a video now instead. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this your news in regards to Mani Vatavai. Um, also, don't forget as well to hit that subscribe button on the channel. The channel's at 491 subscribers. So let's go, let's get to 500 subscribers in the next few days. Let's, let's get to that, uh, let's get to that goal 500 subscribers and um, also don't forget to hit that like button on the video as well to show your support for the channel and don't forget also yes to comment your thoughts in the in the um comment section on this news with regards to Mario Varavai so also don't forget tonight at 7 p.m it's the rugby league breakdown podcast episode 10 Make sure you join host Nick from Australia and NRL Vids 90 and guest Trevor from Shut the Gates and Luther King. So join those guys for the Rugby League Breakdown podcast tonight at the earliest time of 7 p.m. Australia time, which will be around about, I would say about 9 p.m. New Zealand time. So 9 p.m. New Zealand time, 7.30, uh, 7 p.m. Australia time and that'll be just with um, host Nick from Australia, NRL Vids and special guest Trevor from Shut the Gates and Luther King. So I won't be on the podcast this week. I'm taking a brief break from the podcast this this week. So I'll probably will be watching. I'll probably be watching. Uh, I might be tuning into the first couple of minutes of the podcast. So yeah, I'll see you guys there in the live chat. So make sure you join them for the podcast at 7pm. So I'll see you guys for the next video.